right, so as many of you know, uh, about a month ago, a little over a month ago, I got into 3D printing. I worked a lot of overtime uh, over the, the holidays and uh, was wondering what to do with some of it. And then I saw Sam's Forge on Twitter, uh, who is at Sam underscore makes underscore toys. Um, you've probably seen me retweet a lot of his stuff. He started showing off some uh, 3D printed armor for Animated Prime and some of his designs. He's got sort of a really nice looking lug nut that I'm salivating over. I can't wait to be able to print that myself. But um, so I invested in a 3D printer. And while it has not been, well, it's been a lot of Baby Yodas. It has not been all Baby Yodas. Um, you see, this is, this is all the different colors of plastic that I have had. Most of these are PLA, this one's ABS, uh, the lighter green one, or the, the middle green. This one's color change, this one's color change. These three are like hyper color. This one turns pink, this one turns white, this one turns yellow. Solid orange, solid purple pink, solid, let's glow in the dark, uh, solid green, solid gray, and then green ABS. But yeah, so I've been printing a lot of baby Yodas for people and for my own little personal thing. We got some cool clan mudhorn signets I've been printing. Um, but a lot of useful stuff too. Like we've got some hooks in the house. Uh, my wife has a door knocker for her school. Uh, Niblet got uh, a Reno baton from Moderately Okay Cosplay. I did the STL files and I printed off one of those for her. And uh, I printed some, printed some little things for myself, but I hadn't gone full on. And I spent pretty much the whole long weekend I had this past weekend, uh, spent 61 hours of total print time and printed this Castle Grey Skull Dice Tower, which is really cool, and and it's uh, it was a STL I found on Thingiverse from Rocket Space Boy, and I'll put the links to all of these things that I talk about down here in the uh, video description. But it's yeah, it's Castle Grey Skull Dice Tower, and basically how it works is you can pull the lid off. It's got like a removable lid, and then there's an insert in here, which we'll get to in a minute. You can see it's in a gray plastic, but basically you need to roll a dice. Like say you need to roll a d20. Oh well, that, that's not supposed to bounce off. Like comes out and it kind of randomizes it. It's not just throwing things down. It, it's it got uh, a ramp here and then an alternate ramp going up here. So it kind of bounces around and spits them out uh, down at the bottom for random rolls. Although you'll notice that uh, one of the things that uh, if you get it you get it going at the right angle, it can shoot out and go fairly far. And you don't want to risk, if you don't want to risk your dice rolling off the table. Uh, another file I found, uh, this one from a there's actually third-party stuff for, for 3D printing. Uh, another uh, user, Optimus Gene, who, one, has a Transformer-based username, is designing Castle Grayskull stuff, and his profile picture, or their profile picture, is uh, them in Ghostbusters cosplay. So uh, probably somebody I would get along with. So thanks, Optimus Gene. But he printed this, this jaw bridge for the Castle Grayskull. It's got these little cutouts here because it snaps into place around the door. and just kind of click it down. And make it hold and hold there. And now, if you roll a dice in it, the dice doesn't go rolling everywhere. And it gives it another surface to kind of bounce against and maybe get a little extra randomness into the roll. But yeah, it works for like like right now. I'm just doing D20, kind of your standard D and D roll. But say you need to roll four D6, there's four D6, two fives, a two, and a one. Say you're playing Monster of the Week and you just need to roll two D6. There's a three and a two. That is a failure. There's a there you go. There's a perfect success uh, for Monster of the Week. Two sixes. So you can do it like that. Three d eights, no problem. Three d eights come spitting out. You got that was an eight, a four, and a three. Not bad. Not a bad roll. Two uh, d ten for percentages. That is four. Literally four. And that is sixty six. That two d eight. Or 2d4, a 1 and a 4. <laughs> so, like, so yeah, you can roll a dice. And, uh, and, and it's really neat. It was just something personal for myself. Uh, some people asked if I would be doing a review of it. And I figured, hey, you know what? Why not? I don't have any Transformers coming in. And uh, I do like showing it off because I'm really happy with it. Even though it's not my STL design, all I did was make sure my printer ran all weekend. It didn't screw anything up. But I printed it. Now the gray piece, like I said, I mentioned is a separate cylinder. So one, once I printed this is one I printed these pieces first in gray, and I reprinted them in green once it was done. But then printed this 3D cylinder, and uh, by itself, this still works as a dice tower. Everything is functional in there. It's got this little gripper thing at the bottom, which we'll show off. But that still works as a functional dice tower by itself. So even if you print this first, 
then you can at least use it as you build the cosmetic stuff around it. But the reason it's a separate piece, because I could just glue this inside Castle Grey Skull, but the reason it's a separate piece is the lid, it kind of snaps on here. I mean, it, 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 does, it, it doesn't take much to take it off, but it, but it stays on there fairly securely. Um, but you can take this, and if you want to, now I have a nice pouch for my dice, but you can, uh, you can rotate it to the side to close off that hole and store your dice in the tower like that. Now, this is a little loose in here, so, uh, and it may just be the difference in the plastics because I noticed that even the gray lid was a little loose and didn't snap in like the green one does here. But, um, but it could just be how it is. You could tighten it up if you wanted, if you wanted to use it like this, but you can store dice in it and not have them spill out and then uh, open it up and they all come rolling out. But yeah, like I said, nice little add-on drawbridge from Optimus Gene that uh, sticks out. It's a cool little Castle Grayskull dice tower. And even when you're not using it, like I said, other than like a st standard dice tower, which is, you know can be fabric or leather or made out of all sorts of things, it makes a nice little display uh, just by itself when you're not rolling dice. Uh, this is, uh, you can print it in lots of different colors. This is uh, the inner, this inner material. Sorry, I was making a lot of loud noises. Uh, the, the inner material here is just hatch block, Hatchbox Gray that I got off of Amazon. Um, the green is uh, from Matter Hackers. Uh, it's the Matter Hackers Forest Green uh, Build Series PLA, and they have some Pro Series and filaments that do different things, and you can get ABS and PETG and a lot of other filaments there. But yeah, uh, Hatchbox Gray and Matter Hackers Forest Green is what I used for this. And like I said, it makes a nice little Castle Grayskull. The, 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 the stones all have a nice level of detail here in the print, the, the crenellations, the... The lid, now you can see I, I printed it at, at 2 millimeters or 0.2 millimeters. And if I printed it at 0.1, you'd have a little slightly fewer of these lines on the top. But honestly, that's just the 3D printing. It looks really nice uh, as it is. So yeah, I, I was getting some questions to show it off and review it. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's functional. I like rolling my dice through it. And uh, like I said, it was a long print. It was the longest print I've total print I've done, and the longest single piece I've done. Like this, the uh, the inner gray piece set, printed for about eighteen hours. Uh, the the drawbridge and the lid I think were about two hours each. They, they maybe a little more for the jaw, but th these didn't take too long. The the actual green outer sleeve here of the Castle Grayskull bit, I think it ended at thirty eight hours and twenty six minutes, something twenty five minutes, something like that. So almost two straight days over the weekend. Like I, I literally went to sleep and just cross my fingers that nothing bad would happen. And it worked, so I'm, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with my 3D printer. Anyway, there is the Castle Grayskull Dice Tower from Rocket Space Boy on Thingiverse, and the Drawbridge add-on from Optimus Gene available on Thingiverse. It may be available on other websites as well. There's still a bit of stringing here I'm trying to clean up. Uh, but yeah, and uh, again, check it out. Uh, you can get the STLs if you've got a 3D printer. I'm printing on the Artillery Genius. Uh, that's the one I decided to pick up. It was comparable. like Because, again, when I mentioned Sam's Forge, uh, who did the animated stuff, he's printing on an Artillery Sidewinder X1, which is... And the Genius is essentially the same machine, just slightly smaller. I didn't have quite enough room to put a Sidewinder in my house. Um, and the Artillery Genius is a slightly smaller version that... Uh, that also has a few improvements that people wanted on the X1 already built into it. So, uh, so yeah, it seemed like it was worth worth the thing. The Ender 3 Pro is another one people seem to like, and that one does have a, a very installed user base and a big community, so uh, it could help you with there. But like, and that's the one I was looking at until I found out about the Genius, um, and that's only because, uh, and I went with it like the genius because there were a lot of things that were already included in the genius that like the ender three I, i'd researched i was ready to go but it had a lot of things of like the first thing you should do is print this at upgrade for it and stick it on here and then print this cable relief and stick it on the back and print this spool holder so it doesn't and uh and the genius didn't need any of that plus the genius has a direct drive extruder which is better for for printing flexible filaments and things um and it, it, like I said, overall, it just, to me, it just seemed like I was going to get more out, for more for my money out of the uh, the artillery. But there's a lot of good 3D printers out there. A lot of them, like just about anyone you get, 
if you know, research it, if it has a good community, you're going to find the information and the help that you need to get good prints off your machine. But anyway, that's it. That's the Castle Grayskull Dice Tower printed on an artillery genius. And like I said, if you want one for yourself, if you've got a 3D printer, uh, I'll put the links to Thingiverse files right down there in the video description. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have more Transformers content soon, hopefully. I know the last set of Seacons is shipping out now, so once they hit TF Source and they send them my way, we will uh, have those video reviews up. Plus, uh, you know, with everything going on, I hope everybody is staying healthy, staying well, staying safe, staying inside during this uh, the pandemic we're currently going through. I hope things get back to normal sooner rather than later, but it looks like it's going to be a little while before we're back to normal operations. So, uh, like I said, stay healthy, safe, stay sane, stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, I'll try to provide uh, what I can here from my house uh, and what I can get my hands on without running to Target every day. Thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you soon.